Right, it's Friday, it's midday, I'm here with Wondrous Manager Mark White for our weekly catch-up. How are you doing, Mark? I'm buzzing. Good stuff, good, <laughs> good. Right, well, well, we'll find out why shortly. But um, obviously, we haven't got a game tomorrow, we'll talk about that in a minute. But last Saturday we went, we hit the road, went up to Western Supermare, got a, a decent draw. Charlie Carter scored on the day, what was your thoughts of it? Yeah, a really good point. Um... Obviously, off the back of a really difficult couple of weeks, that game was. Um, and that kind of like a boring injury problems that we've got as well. So we had to patch up the team. We had boys named that had not really played before and a few boys playing injured as well. Uh, pretty light bench again with injured players. So, yeah, look, we, we dominated the game really um, in the first half and Weston got that sort of 45th minute equaliser, which... When you're when you're not winning games, those ones hurt you a little bit more. You're not probably not as bothered when you've won six or seven straight games. Um, yeah, and in the end, we we was happy to see it out. Played with ten men for uh, twenty odd minutes. The, the, the red car that was overturned. Um, so we credit the FA for acting quickly on that. Um, but yeah, I thought we showed our prowess, really. I, th I, think, I thought, if I'm honest with you, I thought we showed the, even with a scratch makeshift team, we, you know, we, we can outplay uh, teams uh, comfortably at this level, which we've done all season. Um, and, and where we've got to work hard is uh, getting players on the pitch. Um, and that last third, really, to be honest with you. Um, and we are working really hard and all of that, um, relentlessly hard. So I might seem quite relaxed, and I am relaxed. We've got a Saturday off. Um, but we have, uh, we set up a bit of a boot camp this week, so uh, the boys have been put through their paces massively, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday morning. Um, and um, we've got a game at Wickham on Tuesday at lunchtime against their development team, so we appreciate the invite, uh, which would be great. And yeah, it's been really good. We, 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 we've had a lot of time to work with the boys this last couple of weeks. We've got some great players in the building. Um, new lads, Milson and Brookin and um, Alexandru and um, some boys have really benefited from this two weeks. Reese Murphy's got through all of the boot camps, um, which I'm over the moon with. Um, because, you know, when Reese helped out and played against Horsham, it was because Jason was injured and... Um, you know, uh, Reese was nowhere near fit and, you know, it's been a bit scratchy. So, in honesty, we've made it very clear to the boys that uh, we're training, the, uh, we, we, cha we have changed the training regimes a lot tougher. Um, those that struggle to go with that are, are not really for us. Um, but equally, we've got a load of great players in the building and I'm pretty confident. I mean, we can't wait to get back out there, to be honest with you. I think our general feeling is that you know, we, we'll come to the squad in a minute, but injuries aside, if this is our bad spell um, and we're only five or six points off the top of the table with the setup we've got, um, we'll take that. Uh, we're, ha we, you know, we're, we're very much on coattails. Um, and, you know, I look forward to putting together a string of wins for the fans and for, for the club, and I'm sure we will. Yeah, and I, I was going to mention tomorrow, look, I know we would all prefer to be playing. But yeah. You could argue this, this. This actually, this Saturday off has come at a good time. It's an opportunity to really get these boys back. I know there's lads that are, have been out that are very warm now, like Jordan Norman Williams. We've yeah. also got the long-awaited return of McShane. is getting even closer. So, you know, it's, it's probably not a bad thing. Truth be told. Well, there's going to be a wondrous side out there at some point, isn't there? That's going to be like a seriously good side. Um, it is going to happen, um, but we need to rebuild towards that, and we need to see where the new boys fit within that structure but um, the standards are sort of very high um, now from this point on with the boys uh, not that they weren't before but I think our thing is that you know we can't afford to elongate our bad form um, so therefore we've got to be pretty ruthless with how quick we approach that how we attack that um, but yeah loads of boys returning I mean Jordan Williams has been part of this boot camp he's got through all of it which is brilliant um, we've had better news on Brennan Camp, um, who is not going to have his op now. Um, he's way ahead of where we thought he'd be. I think um, we're looking at potentially mid-October. So 
we've got some serious competition for places all across the back three. I think I can really see that um, taking shape, some really exciting different scenarios we can create back there. Um, so just loads of things really that we're really positive about, but it is a bit of a rebuild at the moment. Um, and at some point, I think when we find our feet, we're going to be quite formidable. But we are in a position where we need to work towards that. We're not at that point at the moment, basically. OK, and um, obviously it feels like it's been a while. And I'm off to uh, Ebbsfleet Oldham tomorrow. Oh, OK. Yes. I'll down at Ebbsfleet and you see Mark, say hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'll buy him a burger. Please. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, we're back in action a week on Saturday. Back at home, it's felt like a while, because obviously our last home game was at yep. the start of September, when we welcomed Hornchurch to Meadowbank. Yeah. Um, you know, looking forward to that, really. Um, we're just looking forward to getting the machine going, really, to be honest with you. We're working so hard, um, and all eyes are on that game. Um, I think we've got five games in as many weeks, or maybe it's six in five. I think there's a midweeker in there at Tunbridge. Yeah. Just looking forward to getting going again, finding some continuity. Hopefully the fans would have missed it a bit, certainly at Meadowbank, we've not been there. Mm. And we can pack out and get that huge home advantage in there for Hornchurch. The old winter nights come in, floodlights going on second half, and you know, um, we're looking to build a, a real formidable side that can you know, win matches in honesty um, at ease at, at this level. If that is what we are looking towards. That is how it's always been, that's where we are. Um, you know, Kewl is kind of like only a few weeks away max, but it'll be shorter minutes. Taylor's going to be longer away, Moore's going to be longer away. Um, but we're looking at all these new boys, we're looking at potentially a little bit of a nuance on our formation to better suit, uh, to better suit the players that we'll have available whilst we're sort of missing so many midfielders. And to be honest with you, I'm backing the boys. I am backing them. And we've got work to do. And there's a lot of boys that have got, you know, got work to do as well. Some of those boys have got a lot of work to do for me and for the club and for the fans. Um, but I'm backing them. Uh, I'm backing them to, uh, to get three points against Hornchurch and then to put their foot on the pedal. Uh, I'm definitely backing them. That's where I'm at with it, really. Great stuff, great. And I know that a lot of fans feel the same. I've seen there's a lot of positive stuff online and uh, everyone just can't wait to get back to Meadowbank next Saturday. That is the bottom line. Yeah, so, let's pack it up. It yeah. makes a bit of let's get, try and get 2,000 in there for the first game, uh, for the first time. This season, yeah. This season, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah totally agree, totally agree. Well, tickets are on sale online, dwfc.co.uk, and it makes it a lot easier on the day if you buy them in advance. Um, so... Um, Thanks, Mark. I mean, just finally, actually, before I wish you well for the weekend yeah. and your trip to Ebsfleet, um, just a reminder to everyone watching that 2525 is, is live until midnight on Monday. Yes. This is an opportunity to join our, our ownership group. Bag yourself a limited edition retro shirt or pin badge, depending on you know, what you decide to, to, to purchase. But also, let's not forget, next Friday, we're going to be doing live the golden ticket draw. Golden tickets, yeah. Um, so. Some great prizes. 25-year season ticket. And yeah. Well, well, there's a few, but I know that I know one that has the definitely darts. sparked interest is joining you and the boys at the darts. In yeah, December. so this is the last opportunity to become a shareholder. We're not going to... We, we haven't floated ourselves um, at the ownership group for 25 years. The first time we've done it was not even a year ago. So uh, this is the closing time. Um, I know so many of our ownership group who go all over the country and um, it's a, we really treat them, you know, special. They know everything that's going on. We do separate updates, separate videos. You know, there is one more opportunity to get involved up until Monday lunch. You really, really sure that it's an amazing fucking club um, and this club's going to return to, to greatness, um, no question. So it's a good time to get involved, that's what I'd say. And there are golden tickets with these purchases. And one of them is going to the World Darts VIP, by the way. Unlimited everything all day with me and the team. Yeah. Um, and uh, with the, the standard rule of thumb being, if you, if you remember the darts, you've had a shit day. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, so that's, that's up for grabs, but there's huge things as well. Five-year... Um, 
season tickets. Well, 20, and 25 years. 25 year season yeah. tickets and which is ridiculous 25 um, year sponsorship 25 year sponsorship there's a there's a wealth of uh, things which are on the website to look at but you know for me just get on board and be part of our journey um, and it's, it's amazing because the fans get it the fans think yeah we can't wait we can't wait to win again that's where we are and we are working really hard at it yeah. really hard at it absolutely Join and this journey. is the last update in this room ever which is quite iconic given the uh, i know a lot of you have judged the blinds and we never got the blinds fixed the whole time and now uh, updates are now from hartswood yeah. um as of next week yeah so uh, we saw three promotions in this room we did for those that don't know mm. and um uh, we're off to hartswood for our updates on a thursday now training yeah um yeah. everyone wants to put their best memories of the updates um on here that would be quite funny yeah. I'm sure there's a few. I'm sure there's a few. Or even yeah. any old images of the blinds on the fucking blink. Yeah, yeah. Well, no the problem. Blinds, they're, st they're still on the blink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they're still hanging just. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, no, great. Let me listen, uh, you know, if we can go and get another 50 owners before Monday, that'd be amazing. Um, it's a, you know, a genuine scheme whereby you part own Dorkham Wanderers Football Club and, and, you, and you're there for the journey to the EFL. That's where we want to go. Uh, that's the that's what we're trying to do. So, yeah. it's still there for you. Join our journey. Get I on board. Say, I can say with experience, there's never a dull moment. There's definitely never Wanderers. a dull moment at Dorking Wanderers. Absolutely no, awesome. not even during the game. Even if we're winning one nil, two nil, something can happen. <laughs> right until the minute you leave the place, you know. That's but it. that's the that's the beauty. It keeps you younger. Hence my uh, youthful looks. Yeah. Cheers, there's mate. A, there's a reason why I'm behind. There's the a camera. reason, Chris is. Yeah, great. Right. <laughs> All right, look, Cheers, Mark, mate. Thanks a lot for your time. Um, enjoy the weekend. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch up again next week. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.